This video is entitled Australia Save Yourself from a, a Labor and Greens Disastrous Government. Despite Labor and the indep Independents scamming us on the Medivac Bill, which will weaken Australians' borders and encourage people smugglers from Indonesia and other places to send immigrants to Australia over on boats. And despite it coming out in the newspaper, The Australian recently, that Australia going up to 50-50 renewables targets will cost the country $472 billion dollars and lower, lower wages by $9,000 a year. The news poll came out tonight, which showed the Labor Party 53 to the Liberal Coalition government 47. Now that translates to a 20 seat wipeout of the Liberal National Government, which would be an absolute disaster for this country. Is the Liberal National Government perfect? No, it certainly is not. Is it a true Conservative government? No, it is certainly not. But is it better than the alternative? It most certainly is, yes. Not only will Labor weaken our borders and most certainly let thousands and thousands of illegal immigrants flood in by boat to our shores and possibly several thousands of them as what happened in the last Labor Greens government. 50,000 uh, people on boats came and 1,500 died at sea. That scenario will most certainly happen again and be worse if on a grander scale, I think. And at the moment, we allow 200,000 illegal immigrants into this country each year, uh, which we can't, we can't support the population we have now. And we've got 7 million homeless Australian citizens in this country. But what is happening in Australia is, is what's happening in Ireland, as Jim O'Doherty's talked about, where Irish citizens are being evicted down onto the street and, and their rental houses are being replaced by illegal immigrants. Today it was just released that Brisbane people have, to have seven days to give up their inner city apartments for, for illegal immigrants to come in. Whatever happened to leaders looking after our citizens first instead of pandering to the UN? When are we going to get leaders in this country that care about the Australian citizens more than they care about how they look to the UN? The UN, mind you, which steals rare earth mi minerals from Africa, at the same time exploiting African nations, at the same time pretending to care about Africa, it's an absolute disgrace. It is an absolute disgrace. At the moment under the coalition government, which, as I said, is not a true conservative government, it's more like a Theresa May-style fake conservative government, although not quite as bad as I, I think we... Um, haven't quite been totally co-opted by the Muslim lobby. Even though it is not a true conservative government, they're a much better alternative than the Labor Party Greens coalition, which will operate more like Trudeau's Canada. Well, you know what's happened to Canada. Sorry, Paul. Canadians are fighting back, and so's the so's the French and so is the Italians, and so is Sweden. In Sweden, the left-wing party had their worst results than they've had in, in 100 years. Germany, Merkel's losing grip. All, this, all Australians need to do before they cast their vote in this next election is look at countries like Canada, Germany, Sweden, even in their own backyard in my state of Victoria where it's sort of like the California of Australia, 
severely left-wing state full of left-wingers, vegans and avocado toast eaters and soy latte drinkers. Crime has gone up 40%. Home invasions have gone up dramatically. Um, the, my part of town where I used to live is now um, being turned into a ghetto for um, Sudanese uh, uh, immigrants. And we've got parts in Australia now where parts in Australia like uh, uh, Western Sydney suburbs like Fairfield and suburbs like North Richmond and Victoria, well, certainly in Fairfield, 70 to 80 percent of, of the people in these towns don't even speak English, and some of them have been here for 40 years, and they don't even have the respect to learn English because cause they're not taught that it, ma that it matters, and they're not taught the values of our country matter, and that's what happens. I'm telling you right now, if Australians vote the Labor Greens Coalition in, not only will, will we get $472 billion worth of debt at a minimum, at a minimum because of the 50-50 renewals policy, our country will look like an absolute eyesore because of all these wind farms uh, going up all over the place. Blackouts will increase dramatically. Power prices according to this new modelling, will go up 50%, and we've got the second most or the most expensive power prices in this country already now. And our country, I'm telling you, will turn into a third world hellhole, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the mistakes Canada made. Look at the mistakes Germany made. Look at the mistakes Italy made. Australia, don't you dare make the same mistake. That is all.